Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids. And as you can see, we're looking at a sleeping bag today. This is the Osage River Zero Degree Sleeping Bag. It's gonna run you $49 over on their website and I put links down below in the description section if you wanna head over there and purchase one of these bags. You can get it in this green. You can also get it in blue or red as well. Again, it's rated down to zero degrees. 32 inches at the widest part up top, 22 inches at the bottom, and 82 inches from end to end. Just wanna give you a quick close up look here at the bag from end to end. You can see we do have the double zipper, so a zipper down at the bottom there, and then up here at the top, hidden behind this little, see if I can open that with just one hand. Yep, behind that little flap, so that cinches down. You do have the hood here, so that can go on top of your head, and then there's a look inside the bag. I wanted to mention to you that it does come with a stuff sack, and as you can see, there are compression straps on the side. So it's not uh, compressed really much at all now. Let me compress it down and show you how small it can actually get. Here it is all compressed down, and from top to bottom at this point, you're talking about 13 to 14 inches, and then across the width, you're talking about 11 to 12 inches. You can also get an additional compression um, bag if you wanted to. So you can buy compression bags that have six or eight straps on them, so you can really get a sleeping bag down to a tiny, tiny little ball. Uh, but anyhow, it does it does compress small, and this is a good size to actually fit into uh, your backpack at this point. As far as your materials, the outer shell is 210T polyester. They don't tell you exactly what the inner fill is, but it is a synthetic material. It's not down. And uh, the main thing anybody needs to be aware of when it comes to sleeping bags or purchasing a sleeping bag, which one works best for you, is you got to figure out what your sleeping temperature is. And there's not an exact formula to that, but it basically looks like this. Um, you may see a bag rated at 35 degrees and it's 40 degrees out and you're like, oh, I'm good because I have a 35 degree bag. That may be true, or you may be somebody who needs extra warmth compared to what the sleeping bag is offered. So to be comfortable at 40 degrees, you need a 20 degree bag. You may be somebody who sleeps really hot, and so therefore you're like, okay, I need, uh, when it's zero degrees out, I don't need a zero degree bag, I need a 15 or 20 degree bag because I get really warm when I'm sleeping. So you gotta figure that out for you. The only way to really test this bag out for me is to sleep in it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a little sleeping area. I'm actually gonna probably just do it on my front porch because that eliminates uh, the option to, uh, the need to have to go out and do an overnight, you know, far away from home. And then also, um, I'm not gonna make a fire. I'm not gonna have any other heating options, no hot Nalgene bottles or anything like that. And because of that, we're gonna just test the um, bag with you know uh, a degree, a, a level of padding underneath because I would have a sleeping pad. And then right on top of that, we'll sleep in the bag and we'll see how it works. So um, it does look like a nice bag. It does seem to, uh, you know, for the cost, 50 bucks for a zero degree sleeping bag, that's quite a good deal, I think. Um, the question is, how does it work for me when I actually test it out? So let's set up our sleeping set, uh, station at my house go to bed, we'll get up the next morning and tell you how it is. And what we'll do throughout the testing is I'll check the temperature throughout the night and see how cold it gets or how warm it stays. And then we can tell you how that fit into my level of comfort when it comes to sleeping in this Osage River sleeping bag. Okay, here's my setup on the front porch. Um, I didn't have access to my sleeping pads. I just threw down some of the uh, couch cushions there instead. And it's supposed to be in the mid twenties down to about 20, Five, give or take tonight so let's uh hop into the sleeping bag and go to bed i'll let you know how it goes by uh tomorrow morning all right bedtime see you in the morning back in the daytime now and um i did have a chance as you saw to sleep in this osage river sleeping bag um it was great it worked well um it got down to probably the mid 20s so we didn't test it at zero but i would say having thought about it a little bit my general experience is when a bag is rated at whatever I need it to be rated, you know, below the temperature it actually is. So if it's zero degrees out, I want a minus 15 bag. That's just, that's how I sleep. That's, that's how it works for me. So at the mid 20s, it was fine. Um, I will say that, you know, sometimes testing out, especially sleeping bags, I find um, there's so many variables. So what's your sleeping pad like? How, how much are you up off the ground? Are you in a hammock? What type of shelter do you have? Is your shelter keeping the heat in? Um, like I was just sleeping on, in the open air basically with the, at the, in the porch. So cold air was coming in on top of me. Um, I would say, you know, probably 70% of my body was quite warm and then there were a couple cold spots, but that's just based on where the airflow was. Um, the thing I noticed about this the most is how it was weather resistant when it comes to moisture and dampness. This material on the top just seems to, um, help the, um, the moisture in the air bead up when it when it lands on you, so it doesn't feel like it's you know soaking through and getting you uh, getting you damp at all, which is a big plus. So uh, I don't have a ton of uh, experience with Osage River gear, but what I've used so far, I would call it budget friendly, generally speaking. 
and um, the quality is good for especially for what you're paying so uh, the Osage River zero degree sleeping bag is definitely something I would check out and I put a link down below also to my review of their fleece liner so that'll add another they're saying about 15 degrees or so to a sleeping bag so if this is zero and you put that liner in that'll keep you even warmer in, uh, in the middle of the night. So thanks as always for checking out these uh, reviews. Links are down below if you wanna head over to their website to purchase one of these bags or other gear. And uh, as always, more videos coming soon. Take care.